minus 11. To solve a quadratic inequality, we need to consider first the critical values, and that's where the quadratic equals 0. So we'll use the quadratic formula. k equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So that is 1 plus or minus root 45 over 2. And 45 is 9 times 5. So that's 1 plus or minus 3 root 5 over 2. We have a positive quadratic that will be crossing the axes at 1 minus 3 root 5 over 2 and 1 plus 3 root 5 over 2. And if we read this, we are interested when it is less than 0, i.e. below the axis. So it is below the axis for these points. So our answer is 1 minus 3 root 5 over 2 is less than or equal to k, which is less than or equal to 1 plus 3 root 5 over 2. So the roots of the equation, then x minus n times x minus n plus 1 will have to equal x squared plus bx plus c. If we expand out the brackets, we get x squared minus nx minus n plus 1 times x plus n upon n plus 1. So b would be minus n minus n plus 1, so that's minus 2n minus 1. And c must be n times n plus 1. We've been asked to find b squared minus 4c. So that is minus 2n minus 1 all squared minus 4 upon n upon n plus 1. Square in a bracket, square the first term. Multiply the two terms together. That gives us 2n and double that. So that's 4n and square the last term. And we have minus 4n squared minus 4n which leaves us with 1.